Hey YouTube, tonight I wanted to do a quick video on my top 5 favorite apps for my Mac. So I did a lot of thinking and narrowed them down to the top 5 and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. The first one is going to be an app called 1Password. This is absolutely the greatest app you could have for any iDevice, I think they make it for the iPod and iPod Touch too. So what this is, is a device that will store all of your passwords and usernames. And you can open it up with one password. That's why it's called 1Password. Let's go ahead and open it up. And it goes in to all your logins, all your accounts, all your identities. Um, wallet obviously I'm not gonna click on some of that stuff because it'll show personal information but cool features about it is if I were to edit it gives me the ability to generate a password of different strengths of completely randomized letters that's one password I will have all of the names of these applications in the description the second is an application called Growl. Growl used to be free and now I think it's $1.99. It's completely worth it. So what this is, is it's a notification program. So for a program like Skype, it'll you can choose where you want that notification to pop up when someone's typing, when someone's calling you, when you receive a message. It also works with other programs. So you can do a list of all account applications it works with. So any of these applications I can get notifications from and it of course gives you uh, display options how you want it to look. That's growl. The next is handbrake. I have a video of how to use handbrake so you guys can go check that out. Um, pretty much what it is, is it's, an, it's an encoding program that lets you encode almost any probably almost any video file to mp4 or mkv I generally only convert AVI's because I want to get those to mp4 format but I know it works with other formats uh, it's a great program you can rip DVDs with it it's probably one of the best parts next would be toast titanium this program is Amazing. I cannot stand iDVD. It is terrible. And the features that this have is just amazing. I'll give you a quick run through. You can do a, da a data DVD, which is something that can only be read on Mac, can be read on Mac and PC, uh, or a photo disk. So that's going to be data. So if you just wanted to give someone, it's, it's like using a DVD as a flash drive. Audio, of course, music DVD, MP3 disc, audio CD, your general things, video, DVD video, Blu-ray video, high definition videos, and video TS folders. I'm. I know when you put a DVD in, it's got the TS folder in it. I've never tried burning to a TS. I always do DVD video. If any of you know that, go ahead and leave me a comment, and I'd love to know. Um disc copy so useful if you have a non copyrighted disc you can uh, copy them from right here it works really quick too uh, image file of course you can burn an image file that's just like a TS folder and the converting software is also not bad um, I've used it a few times to convert to mp4 I've had some trouble where it'll mess up but not too much so that is toast Titanium 11 great program and the last which I'm sure most of you know is called VLC player VLC player is a player that will play anything I put flack audio files in there it plays them I put any absolutely any video file I've never been able to put a video file in there where it's like hey I don't know what this is it'll do divix it'll do avi it does mp4 i just it does it all 
it plays and as I said it plays audio files as well so as I said all of these applications are gonna be in the description below if you have any questions if you want to know more in depth what any of these applications do just go ahead and send me a message leave me a comment and I will make a video specifically for you about the application so please guys just comment rate subscribe and I'll see you next time thanks a lot